Forecasters are advising drivers to avoid standing water left on roads Monday after a coastal storm making its way up the east coast unleashed heavy rainfall in New Jersey. The National Weather Service issued flood warnings in numerous counties Sunday as heavy rain fell throughout the Garden State. More than 20 cities and towns could experience flooding, the Weather Service said, and drivers should turn around when encountering flooded roads. While the heavy rain is expected to end by the Monday morning commute, the Weather Service issued a high wind warning in Bergen and Hudson counties, effective through 6 a.m. Monday, and a wind advisory in parts of southern New Jersey, including Camden and Atlantic City, through noon Monday. The winds will cause difficult conditions for people driving trucks and buses, forecasters said. Keep track of power outages with Live Tracker. Those strong winds will quickly increase overnight and will peak during the mid-morning hours Monday as winds head west at 20 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. The winds could be powerful enough to damage trees and power lines, and power outages are expected, the Weather Service said. Commuters should use extra caution when driving over elevated roads and bridges, the Weather Service said. At home, people should secure lightweight outdoor objects, such as patio furniture and garbage cans, the service said, early rainfall totals as of 8 p.m. Sunday, weather radar indicated that up to three inches of rain had already fallen across parts of the state, and the weather service received a report of 4.5 inches of rain in Weartown. Another inch or two could fall in some locations before midnight, forecasters said. Here are some of the highest rainfall totals reported across New Jersey as of 9.45 p.m. Sunday. The reports came from the New Jersey Weather Climate Network, based at Rutgers University, and the National Weather Service office in Mount Holly, 4.50 inches in Weartown Ocean County 4.37 inches in Berkeley TWP. Ocean County 4.20 inches in Howell Monmouth County 4.19 inches in Home Del Monmouth County 4.01 inches in Lakewood Ocean County 3.87 inches in Toms River Ocean County 3.53 inches in Ramsey Bergen County 3.50 inches in Wall Monmouth County 3.43 inches in Jackson Ocean County 3.42 inches in Harvey Cedars Ocean County 3.40 inches in Parsippany Morris County 3.33 inches in Point Pleasant Ocean County 3.32 inches in Hawthorne in Passaic County 3.08 inches in Morris Plains Morris County 3.01 inches in Chatsworth Burlington County 2.97 inches in Morristown Burlington County 2.95 inches in Cedar Bridge Ocean County 2.94 inches in Harrison Hudson County 2.93 inches in Nutley Essex County 2.88 inches in Charlotteburg Passaic County 2.86 inches in Chatham TWP Morris County 2.85 inches in Mansfield Burlington County 2.85 inches in Wayne Passaic County Car submerged in Kearney, NJ. Passaic River couples with heavy rain leading to major flooding. Pick.twitter.com Yosa Ridge 4 miles and Miller at miles mill October 29, 2017 Heavy rainfall brings flooding in Newark HTTPS T.call 7 Zywagek Pick.twitter.com Dix Flight X BNJ NYC at NJ underscore NYC October 30, 2017 Take a look at the street flooding on Riverview Drive in Totoa Pick.twitter.com Lao 60 CDWZZ Matthew R. Albanese at Matt Albany's October 30, 2017 top wind gusts Sunday night Among the strongest wind gusts reported across New Jersey on Sunday, as of 11 p.m., were 52 miles per hour in Harvey Cedars Ocean County, 48 miles per hour in Seaside Heights Ocean County, 47 miles per hour at the Atlantic City Marina Atlantic County, 44 miles per hour in Seagirt Monmouth County, 43 miles per hour in Belmar Monmouth County, 38 miles per hour in Lyndhurst Bergen County, 35 miles per hour in Berkeley TWP. Ocean County, New Jersey advance media staff writer Len Melissa Go contributed to this report. Luke Nozaka may be reached at lnozaka at neadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Lukey Nozaka. Find NJ.com on Facebook.